when you take antibiotic for a different reason. You will kill bacteria all over your body, including in the digestive tract. There are many possible causes for acid reflux, but today I want to cover one possible cause. It's caused by antibiotic. I see those kinds of patients from time to time and I just see that seen that patient a few days ago and I want to explain why acid reflux happened after taking antibiotic. Let's go to, to the blackboard, I will explain you and then I will tell you how to fix it. I already pre-draw for you a digestive tract. This is mouse with the teeth, esophagus right here, stomach is this one, small intestine starts right here, and the large intestine is this one. And we go to the bathroom right here. Two important points to understand. One is between stomach and small intestine, we have valve called pylorus. It opens and closes only when you have a right environment here in the stomach and here in the small intestine. Right environment in the stomach is when you have pH of 2. It's very acidic environment that created by production of hydrochloric acid. Environment here in the small intestine is determined by several organs and several other factors. One of them is liver that is located right here. Liver will produce bile that will get excreted right here into the small intestine and by pancreas that produces pancreatic enzymes, P stays for pancreas. Also numerous different kinds of bugs are living right here into in the small intestine and in the large intestine. So they are part of our digestive process. They will break down the food and also during their lifespan they will produce certain nutrients that are essential to keep small and large intestine very healthy. So they are part of equation to keep the environment here in the small intestine healthy. When you take antibiotic for a different reason, you will kill bacteria all over your body, including in the digestive tract. So this bacteria get either killed or drastically reduced. As a result, the right environment here in small intestine cannot be created. When you put the food next time in your mouth after taking antibiotic, it will drop here into the stomach. Pillarus will remain closed until you will create an adequate pH right here in the stomach and you will create right environment or pH around 7 here in the small intestine. But the bacteria that will help to create that environment unfortunately is not there. As a result, pillarus will remain closed for longer period of time than it's supposed to be. As a result, the food here in the stomach together with hydrochloric acid will stay longer than it's supposed to be here. As a result, it can go through low esophageal sphincter right here into your esophagus. As a result, it may create an inflammation right here in the esophagus, which is acid or gourd or heartburn. Clear? Now, let's go and talk about what you can do to reverse this condition. And the solution for that is, in this particular case, probiotic. I have two different YouTube movies on my uh, other channel where I talk about good probiotic to replenish the bacteria that get killed by antibiotic. This is about kefir, uh, which also will create a very good bacteria. So you can do that at home. Go ahead and watch those movies. That's it for now, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. If you are interested, I have a course on curing GERD or acid reflex naturally. Link is in the description below.